Alright guys, so here we go. The Gene Steeler Cult Katachan Army is back out. Uh, 1750 points today and it's uh, very themed. I'm looking forward to the Gene Steeler Cult Codex, which will probably be out by the time this goes online. <laughs> so, uh, I am running pretty much what you've seen previously. I've got a spearhead of Lehman Russ. This one is the tank commander. Uh, he's got the executioner, two plasma cannons and a uh, front mounted uh, las cannon. And I have three Lehman Russ, three heavy flamers apiece, uh, one battle cannon, one twin las cannon and one punisher cannon. And that is the spearhead. We've then got, uh, it can be any number of detachments, but one of the HQ and three choices. So we've got uh, Colonel Strachan, a Magus. No, it's not a Magus, it's a Primera Psyche. <laughs> uh, and a company commander. Uh, and then we've got three Sentinels with heavy flamers, uh, Scout Sentinels. Uh, so that makes up another detachment. We've then got three elite choices. We've got a Minister and Priest. We've got a Tech Priest Engine Seer. And we've got a Master of Ordnance. The Master of Ordnance is uh, in the battalion, uh, and the battalion is going to be the Emperor's Wrath Artillery Company. So I paid a command point for that, uh, so that I can take uh, the Agrippine. No, he's the Warlord, which means that on a six, all units within six inches of him to wound on a six gain an additional minus one AP. And that means then that's three Basilisks and a Manticore. Very, very cool. I've also paid a command point for the Lehman Rust to go into the Emperor's Fist Tank Company, uh, but they're not getting uh, any bonuses or anything like that. So that's fine. Um, I'm just going to use the stratagem. That's why it's there for the grinding advance. Uh, and then we've got three squads of troops, each with a flamer. And that is it. Um, for relics, uh, I've taken Kurnov's Aquila, and that is on the Master of Ordnance. So here is Nathan's uh, Necrons. Yeah, where we, I'm running a, a, the, the Nahilak Dynasty. Um, we have a battalion and an outrider detachment. Uh, we have the Lord, who is going to be basically commanding his uh, two squads of warriors. The Overlord, uh, loading it over inside his command barge. And he's going to have the Cryptek with the Kanaptek Cloak and two squads of destroyers and a little three man squad of Tomb Blades. Yep. And then we also have a little backup ghost arc just to help with the squads of warriors and a night scythe just for some fun. Cool. And your warlord trait and relic? My, my relic is the lightning field on the command barge and the warlord trait is going to be an... Oh, I've just gone blank, which is one that they just did the one, uh, one damage. Right guys, welcome back after deployment. Uh, I ended up deploying second, Nathan's gone first, so he is going first unless I seize. But the mission today is Scars of Battle from Chapter Approved 2018. We've got six objective markers, number one, number five, number three, number two, and I think that one is number four. And then there's one just down there as well. So, interesting stuff. I've only got 10 command points. I've had to burn two to take the two detachments. I thought I'd give them a go. Uh, but if I don't seize, I will be using prepared positions, Nathan. That's fine. Because destroyers. Yes. <laughs> That's why. So, um, this is a brand new table that just, just finished today, yes. actually. Uh, so it's fantastic to come down and play on this. The kill team terrain. I've just started building mine today as well. Oh, nice. And I've had it six months. <laughs> Uh, but very, very nice with all, of course, all the overgrown ruins and everything up the side of it. Definitely, definitely be taking some inspiration from this. But let's see who is going first. So I've got my Scout Sentinels up front, infantry on the flank. And then I've got my Basilisk with the Lehman Rust to push forward. Nathan's got the Tomb Blades, 10 Warriors and the Ghost Arc. And he's got all the Destroyers. And both units of Warriors are actually in uh, the Teleport Reserve. So, do I seize? Nope, that is a one. So I get to make movements with these and I am using prepared positions. So, scars of battle before Nathan does his first uh, turn. I have moved these up here. We've all, both discarded six objective cards. Now, I need to get rid of about nine. <laughs> but uh, I got rid of six. I got rid of Domination, Regimental Pride, Advance, Witch Hunter, 
troops on the ground and priority orders received number 66. Nathan got rid of a handful of others including um, Scour the Skies, Harness the War, yeah. uh, Hold the yep. Blood and Guts and Defend Objective 1 and 2. Defend 1 and 2 because he's, he's going to be moving so but we roll a dice Nathan and, what, and whatever we roll for a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever, we can't score the 10s of that one. So I can't score the 50s, you can't score the 20s. So let's move over to Necron's turn 1. Turn 1 Necrons and Nathan drew Kingslayer, Code of Combat, which is kill one of my characters with one of his characters. I got rid of my equivalent card of that. <laughs> yeah, I missed it. Yeah. Uh, and then he did drew, uh, draw Secure Objective 2, which is just there. But because you rolled a 2, you can't score, I, I know, I can't score card 22. Two. So he's got Dust and Ashes, which he's put on the Lord the Titan down here. Because he knows I can't get none. <laughs> so moving phase, they've all pushed up. The Destroyers have both moved up. And the Night Scythe has hurtled over there uh, you have used the pharaoh's will though on both units of destroyers yes uh, which i need to roll to see if i can command point back that would be very useful for me so that is it for movement let's go into shooting so only one six rolled to hit from the uh, tesla destructor on the night side and everything else missed yes eight dice one hit which just happened to be the six yep one wound did go through however so nathan is going to be using uh extermination protocols on these and he's going for the wyvern so the, the, the manticore do i get a command point back yes i do Woohoo! so i'm back to seven so threes re-roll into twos and uh, two ones that's not a bad roll one two misses altogether. Uh, oh no, the two hits, doesn't one, it? Because yeah. of my will, my will be done. Yes. And now you wouldn't have fives re rolling. Yes. This is where you need the re roll for extermination. So fives. Oh! Re rolling. That's a, that's a sickening roll. Makes up for the night five. Yes. Oh my word. How many is that? That is. Three, six, nine. Uh, Minus three. But plus one because I've used prepared positions, so five ups. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five go through. I've got ten wounds left. Okay, and there are D3. Yep. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Are you going to chance it? Uh... Do you think it's worth it? I will do a command point, go on. Okay, needing a five or a six to kill it. Oh, it's on one wound. Nathan's overlord looking over the top of the ruins, sighted the armored, the scout sentinels marching forward and missed with everything. Well, three ones. Uh, the destroyers in turn shot at both of the closest ones and two of them were taken out. And then over this side, Nathan killed three guardsmen in this squad and one from this squad. So a morale test on them. Uh, they'll be fine. They should have seven with the sergeant and then they'll auto pass because they've only taken one. And that is it. Nathan, you didn't score anything. No. Are you discarding anything? Um, <laughs> Probably code of conduct, I'm guessing. Yes. Yeah. Code of conduct. Right. So over to my turn. Okay, so turn one for guard, we've drew Supremacy, and we've also drew Scour the Skies and Secure Objective Marker 4. Stratton has issued his men to move forward, and he's issued first rank fire, second rank fire on the unit of nine, and the unit of seven have got to take aim. We're going to hopefully take these guys down. There is a pair of flamers in there as well. So this guy has moved all the way forward 10 inches because he's flamers can reach them destroyers and I'm going to have to use a command point again for unyielding advance which means I can still fire the turret as though I hadn't moved twice and the tank commander had to pull forward just slightly uh, to issue gunner's kill on sight on that Lehman Russ as well. I used jury rigging on this to get one wound back and then the engine seer healed it for two but I do have a psychic phase so 
Uh, I know I've done the order slightly out, it's just so that it was for ease of filming, but uh, he's going to issue uh, the minus one to hit on my tank commander. Uh, and I fail it. Yay! Shooting phase. I'm going for that. So obviously I'm at minus one to hit. So uh, 2d6 shots. Uh, and for Katachan, I will reroll that. Six shot isn't great, like. Not great at all. So I'm hitting you on sixes. Nothing. Damn. <laughs> right, so uh, the heavy bolter as well, which can't hit because I'd be at minus one. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'd be hitting on sixes. One hit. Uh, what, what toughness is this? Six. Well, five's a wound at minus one. Three, have we got three up armor or four? Up? Cool. Well, whilst he does that, uh, this guy's going to fire up 2d6, uh, re roll the, pick the highest, re roll the lowest for Katachan. So I get five shots, uh, hitting on fives. One. That is one wound at minus three on this. Right? So you've now got to make a six up on this from the basilisk. That's a four, that's a fail. So the earth shaker does. I believe it's D3 damage. It is. Three damage. Woohoo! So the next guy is going to shoot. Oh, his heavy bolter as well, actually, Nathan. Uh, misses. So the next guy is going to shoot. Uh, I'll reroll the three because of Katachan. Five, again. So hitting on fives. Three hits, wounding on threes. That's three wounds, minus three each. Sixes, nope, and it's D3 each. So that, wow, that's uh, six, seven wounds. Oh, that's for the one I fired, by the way. <laughs> uh, and then he's heavy bolter. Uh, one hit. One wound, minus one. Fine. Okay, so... I think I'm going to have to use Pound and Barrage now, which is... Uh, I should have used it at the start of the shooting phase, but basically I get to shoot twice with the last one. So one shot will go there, the other shot will go into the five destroyers on that side. So the first shot up at uh, this guy, one and one, so reroll because of Katachan, so I get four shots. And I miss with all of them. Heavy bolter, two hits, no wounds. That's not good. That is not good. <laughs> so the other shot into the two destroyers, into the big destroyer unit rather, uh, and then reroll for Katachan. I get four shots into them. Three hits. <sighs> oh god no <laughs> care <Okay>. hmm <laughs> this isn't good this isn't going according to plan nathan like not at all no i was uh, i was a little scared when i saw all those tanks but uh, it's going well so I'm going to have to put the battle cannon into it. D6 shots. Four. I will keep four. I'm not going to chance a reroll on that. Uh, fives. But guess what? I get to shoot again. Yep. So four shots again. Two hits. Come on. Two wounds. Battle cannon is minus two. Yep. Oh, they both go through, which means you're dead. Yeah, I'm going to use a stratagem now. To get one of your warrior units out. Yeah, just one of them, unfortunately. So, do I get a command point back? No, I do not. Right, I'm actually down to four. That's emergency invasion. One squad comes out. So you have 
denied me a squad. Well, that's good because obviously the one squad would have probably obliterated that and then the other squad would have killed me Warlord. Yes, that was the plan. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, next up though, I'm going to go with uh, the Punisher and the Heavy Flamers into that. So first of all, 3d6 Heavy Flamers. Uh, I'll just re-roll the 3 for a 2, so it does go down 1. Uh, and then I'm going to get to shoot me Punisher twice, re-rolling 1s. So we'll come back with Nathan's saves. So the dual Punisher, we managed to almost kill one with the uh, Flamer. Uh, and then we managed to kill another one and that wound with a Punisher. And then the Sentinel did one wound. Yes. Uh, so next up is going to be my Tank Commander. And unfortunately, I can't go backwards into them because I can't see them, Nathan. Because my own tanks are in the way. So I'm going to have to do this a little bit differently to normal. So I'm not going to overcharge the side ones because they do suffer the minus one to hit. And I don't want to kill myself on twos. So I'm just going to do normal plasmas into them. The last cannon into them, and then I will overcharge me turret because I don't suffer the penalty on the turret. So the two plasmas, D3 shots each. Reroll because I cut a chan for only three shots. So I'm hitting you on fours because I moved. That's two hits. Uh, and that is two wounds. And it's minus three on the plasma. Uh, so Just one damage because I didn't overcharge. Now this is annoying because the next one's the Laz Cannon, which hits and wounds, minus three. Yeah, so it kills him because it's D6 damage, but that's where it is, so never mind. Uh, and then the turret itself, the Executioner. I'm going to overcharge. I get six shots. <laughs> See, really, Nathan, what I should have done was use the... Yeah, but I also should probably use the reroll ones on him, but I wanted to get as many dice as I could into them. So I'll reroll that one. Right, so that that means I take a mortal wound, and then that one misses. Uh, that is four wounds at minus three, and each one is two damage. So that would be six damage, which would actually kill... Oh well, no. No. It is two damage. Kills that one. Two damage. Leaves him on one wound. Yes. <clears throat> but I can fire my turret weapon again. So number of shots. Six. <laughs> Sorry, Nathan. But with six shots, I'm actually gonna go after the other ones. Oh yeah, that's smart. <clears throat> so I only get two hits. And I don't wound. <laughs> yes. Uh, however, two last cannons from this one, straight across at them. Uh, that would be one hit. Threes. One moon minus three. D6. Five. Kills one. Yep. And then because I'm a Lehman Rust, I'm going to fire again. I don't hit. <laughs> and then we've got loads of infantry to fire into them and hopefully take these guys down. So despite all of this hurtling in at these guys, uh -uh, didn't happen. Uh, I only managed to kill one and I am actually contemplating a charge, Nathan. Because they've got three attacks each at strength four. It's only two models, four wounds. Ah. But you've got six shots on Overwatch, yeah? Yes. How are we then? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm, I'm going to charge. And I only need... For the squad... A six. So, Overwatch. Nothing. I make it with a nine, so I can probably get round to there. Strachan is going to charge as well, because he's pretty decent in combat. Well, ten's going to get him in. Uh, we'll go with these guys. Seven? Yep, they're within eight inches, so that gets them in. And then the priest. For an eight? Will the priest make it? 
No, he's nine and a half inches away. But as long as I leave one back, it's units within six. So he will give me the extra attack. And of course, uh, extra hand will go to work and hopefully tear these guys apart. So here we go, Colonel Iron extra hand Strachan is going to be swinging at these guys. He's got four attacks base, plus one for his own aura. Unfortunately, he's not going to benefit from his twos. Yeah, come on. Strength six. Oh, that's only three, but it is minus one and two damage, Nathan. Woof. And Strachan slays them like an absolute weapon. So that is turn. I can consolidate them a bit further forward, but I don't really want to yet, just yet. <laughs> just in case. But hang on, you've got warriors in there, haven't you? I have got warriors in there. No, I'll leave Strachan where he is because I don't want you to shoot him yet. Uh, so I do score Supremacy, I do score Scour the Skies, and I do secure Objective 4. However, is he giving out a, a bubble of uh, Ignore Morale? Right, so you lost four. So you can't actually fail with five destroyers, can you? No, because a six would still probably for ten. Which, oh, that's not fair, Nathan. That's not fair. So I do score first strike, and I get three points for supremacy. That's five. That's six victory points already, Nathan. And considering how abysmal my shooting was... <laughs> Let's see how Nathan retaliates, so I think this is going to be brutal now. So first of all, I want to apologise for everybody that's already commented on the video screaming at me for shooting the last cannon at the unit on the left. I need to play my Necrons more, Nathan. <laughs> so yeah, he rolled, he rolled uh, four, four pluses, of course. Yep. Uh, he did spend two command points to use enhanced reanimation protocols, but didn't need it. And I did manage to get the command point uh, off him for that. So I am on five. So, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so for turn two, Nathan drew uh, defend objective six. He did draw another secure one, but again, you had to ditch it. So, unfortunately. Uh, and of course, all of the destroyers got back up, which is not going in my favour at all. Uh, but I've got five command points and I, I'm, I'm going to do things next turn and hopefully get rid of you like, for real this time and, and not do that rookie mistake. That's a nice plan you've got there. Yeah, it's probably not going to work. <laughs> uh, the Warriors have moved forward, probably going to get rid of that Manticore and probably split fire into one of the Basilisks. Destroyers are probably going to annihilate the Basilisks. And uh, yeah, and the Warriors jumped out here. And all of this rapid fire means that I'm probably going to lose all of my infantry. Yes. Yeah! Oh, and look who it is! Look who it is! Wrong. Ian? Wrong way around. Oops. <laughs> Ian, I made, I made a rookie mistake. I left one destroyer alive on one wound. Now there's five. That's just good. That's good neck on isn't it? <laughs> it is. So here's the predicament Nathan got 10 wounds on this. And I failed four out of ten saves, and I need to keep it alive because I've only got the four wounds, but I don't want them to shoot them too. And if I keep them alive, the destroyers have to shoot something else that's not them. As it stands, it's dead. As it stands, it's dead. So I'm gonna CP reroll, and I need a four plus to stay alive. One wound. One wound. <laughs> now you could charge it, Nathan. Yes. But it, at least it means that the destroyers. It knocks up the rest of my shooting. Yes. So I'm down to four CP, but that was almost worth it. Now I'm probably going to lose some basilisks because we've got the other. Oh. You've still got the rest of the warriors to shoot at this basilisk, which he already nominated, so we'll work that one out. Uh, but that was going to be the key one. The destroyers have then got, you know, good choice of targets. So, uh, he's just done a win with a command barge at minus three. Six. Oh. oh, so close. Does it explode? No. Oh, well. It does mean that the destroyers are going to have free rain down here, but guess what? So now we're going to use uh, my will be done on them. So two is re-rolling ones at that nearest basilisk. 
re rolling ones because they're hardwired. So one miss out of 15 shots. Yeah. Uh, yes, so fours. That's more like it, Nathan. I like that. I passed two, so you can't kill me. It's a three. Three went through. Damage. Seven. Not bad. Not bad at all. Nathan's then used extermination protocols on them, but... He has yeah. to declare first. I would probably split in, into both basilisks and, and try and... So Nathan's just getting six wounds through on this, and uh, I didn't pass any saves, and then I've just rolled that. Every unit within six inches suffers D3 mortal wounds. So that's them two, that, 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 and that. So this one. Two, drops it to six. Uh, the Master of Ordnance loses two wounds. The Engine Seer loses three wounds. The Magus, I mean uh, Primaris Psyche, loses one wound. The other Basilisk loses two wounds. The Lehman Russ here loses three wounds. And then the Lehman Russ up there at the back loses one wound. That is not a pretty thing. Ha you didn't like it when it happened to your Warhound, so shush. And then of course that one's wrecked. Yeah. So this one's probably going to die now. If I roll another six here, Nathan, I'm going to cry. Yep. That's not a bad roll. That's even better. That's eight. Uh, that's three, six, eight minus three. Is that the next as well? No. Well, that left a hole. <coughs> Can we go over this side now? <laughs> so over here, uh, that happened. All the guardsmen around uh, him, uh, around Strathen, just got vaporised. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. Um, I've readjusted the wounds for how many people have, uh, have got remaining. I didn't realise he only actually had three wounds. So you, you could have killed him. Very, very lucky. Are you charging these? Yeah, you should. Right, so my morale happens no matter what anyway, but guess what? Oh, I get, it over. I get shot with the last pistol and I fail the wound. Oh, my word. So, yeah, Nathan did do the charge and killed both my guys and then consolidated into them. Uh, and despite getting wounds in, Nathan passed all of his saves, so I didn't do anything to them. He's tagged a, a thing, Basilisk. Uh, and most of the Emperor's Wrath artillery battery is now gone. So the command point, I don't think it's worth spending a command point to get the benefits of the detachment when the only real benefit is the Relic and Warlord. I don't think that one was worth it. I think the Lehman Russ one was pretty yeah, cool. I only got to your with a 60 fly. True. True. So uh, Nathan's decided to discard, def discard defend objective 6. He does get Slay the Warlord and D3 points for Kingslayer. For three, so he scores four points, putting you on six. First strike. Five for Slayer the Warlord. To my six. So I'm still technically winning, but like, wow, I'm, I'm hurting a lot now already. Right, so turn two up with Death from Afar, kill something that's in Nathan's deployment zone, which is nothing. Master the Warp, and Hammer of the Emperor, kill a unit that was controlling an objective marker, so I need to kill them. 
which is going to be difficult, but we'll hopefully do it. So, uh, orders, I want to put first rank, second rank on them. Um, Strachan will put um, reroll ones on himself. Uh, and reroll ones on him, because he can issue two orders. And the tank commander will put reroll ones on himself. So, because I need to go for maximum damage output, Nathan, I'll go for smite. Yes! 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 Four, I'll keep it. That's four warriors dead. This guy. <sighs> heavy flamers into them, last cannons into them. So, three heavy flamers. And I will reroll the three because Kachan for five. Five and then six for that. This is a lot of flamers, yes. <laughs> Threes. So, you know, the old problem is, you know, don't count all your eggs before the patch. Three, six, nine. That's 11 saves, Nathan. At minus one. So, you've got 11 five ups to make. I think I might be, I might be able to do the same. I might get it. <clears throat> 11 five ups. That's a few. How many is that? It's died. Cool. So, we'll get let Nathan remove them. But now the last cannons are going sideways over into them. So I'm just going to shoot both of them at the same time. Uh, so I do get three hits. I get two wounds on your destroyers. So it's minus three on the destroyers. So both go through, so the first one will kill the one wound one, and the second one will do... I will CP reroll that. So six kills another one. So I'm down to three CP now. Okay. The other one is... I'm going to go with him next, and then I'm going to come back to this. So no, if I kill them, then the heavy flamers can go that way. So this one's going to go next. So three heavy flamers. I'll re-roll the three. For a three, so that's 13. Uh, sorry, Nathan, I should have said the battle cannon's going for them. So that's not great. So that's three, six, seven saves on these at minus one. Six. Leaves you with three. And then the battle cannon, I'll just do both at the same time. 2d6. So I would re-roll that for Katachan. For three. So I get eight shots all together. Fours. And then wounding you on threes. One. Minus three, I think it was. Minus two, maybe. I'll check it now. Uh, so, battle can is minus two. D3 damage. For three. Yep. So, you need to get rid of six of them. So... got these guys here to still shoot and they've got rapid two so I would get uh, two of them can't fire so eight so I get 16 shots with me las guns not that I'm probably going to kill him but it's always worth a go not bad not bad 
Fives to wound. That's three wounds, Nathan. No, on, on these from, from the infantry. So no AP, three forps. Can you make it? Oh, one more goes down. God. This isn't going well. This isn't going well. I really, really don't know how to do this now. So I'm going to put the two side plasma cannons into these. The main gun and the last cannons going at them. So the, in fact, no, he can't shoot anything else. So heavy flamer first. One I'll re-roll for six. Fours, two at minus one. Takes a wound, that's okay. <sighs> this is really, really difficult. So I'm, I want to overcharge the turret and shoot it at them. And the last cannon will go for them. And the two side plasma cannons will go here and not overcharge it. So the two side plasma cannons. I get five shots. I did move, so uh, fours because I'm normally three plus. I reroll the one because of me tank orders on myself, and then threes. That's two, and it's minus three. So they're gone. <clears throat> and then I'll have I will shoot the plasma cannon first. So I get d6 shots. For three, I'll re-roll with Katachan for four. So I'm hitting on threes, re-rolling ones, I only get two hits. And this is, of course, overcharged. That's two wounds, minus three on the destroyers, Nathan, and it's two damage apiece. Two. Two, minus three. Fails them both, so that leaves one on one wound. There's two damage apiece, so that's him gone completely. Laz cannon. Laser cannon. Oh, it's a two. Okay, that's not good. So what I'm going to do is put the heavy flamers into him and the first punisher into that. So three heavy flamers. Here on the one. Five. That's not bad. So three. Five. Six. This is the heavy flamers. Straight at them destroyers, Nathan. So fishing for fours. Three, six, nine. Yep. That's a lot of damage. Two dead from just from the heavy flamers. And then the Punisher at the one with one wound left. I need one extra dice after I've rolled these. So I'll just re-roll that one. So I'm hitting you on fours. It's not bad. I'm wounding you on fours. Come on, don't fail me now. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Nathan. Three, six, seven, eight, three pluses on that one destroyer. Come on, I'm not going to make the same mistake again. No! Oh my yes. word. Yeah, I saw that. That happened. Yes, today. yes. Okay, that means that the Punisher has to go back into that again. It's not fair. He should have died there. Plus one extra. I've still got a plan though. I've still got a plan. If it all goes metallic boobs up. No, the plan is not run away. The plan will be charge. So that's five this time. 
And I bet you his CP rerolls because you've got one CP left. Uh, one or two, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty, pretty low down. Don't do it. Don't. Don't do it, Nathan. You're gonna, aren't you? I'm gonna have to. No! <laughs> Destroyer. Oh! He's been promoted as Super Destroyer. I don't believe that. <laughs> oh crap! Okay, um, I'm going to go balls to the wall here because that, that annoyed me. So what I'm going to do is um, Strachan is actually going to. Mm, I, I either get two shots with his shotgun, Ian, or overcharge a plasma pistol. The Warriors. It's got to be the plasma pistol. Overcharging. Hits. Two's to kill. Kills one warrior. Yeah. He's gonna love. Uh, he doesn't have grenades actually, so lads pistol. Oh, hey, he misses. I, I put reroll ones on him. He hits. Fives. No. So charges. I'll let you count up your dice here, but Strachan is going to be charging them. Yeah. But this is charging him. Eight gets me in because I was within flamer range. And then the Sentinel is going in just for shits and gigs. With a three, won't make it, I don't think, will he? I've got my measure gauge. Look. Handy Dark Arts in one. And I've just moved him, but yeah, he's, he's exactly three inches away, so he would make it. And then, Overwatch on Strachan. He's got five wounds. And Ian, we played this wrong previously, but he actually has a five up in Vulnerable Save. And unbelievably, Nathan, right, despite him being running around topless, he's got a three up armor save. What? Yeah, exactly. And do you know what else as well? He's also toughness four. It is. Because he's got an extra hand. <laughs> uh, no sixes on that one. And I got out, which counts as movement. So on the second nine. Ah, we actually have six. There we go. Uh, so force to wound. Four up save. Fine. Charge. I'm in. And then the priest will charge. And he's going to be in. <clears throat> no. I'm going to have to go first with Stratton because I, I don't like the amount of weight of dice that you would end up getting against me. So I have four attacks base. He himself gives himself one. And the priest gives him another one. Yeah. That's two misses though. And that is uh, four. At, it was minus, minus one, two damage each. Which the two damage makes no difference, but yeah, it's minus one. So four minus one, so fives. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <clears throat> so get this. Priest has three attacks. Right? Chainsword gives him one more. His own ability gives him one more. Strapping gives him one more. I remember this when we did That's how you add dice. But he doesn't hit on threes though. And he is strength four. So that is two wounds. No AP. One more dice. Wait, so they killed two between them. That'll, it's enough. It's, it's not going to force morale, but I've locked it down. Now, now, I'm spending the command point so I can hit you on twos with my Lehman Russ. Uh, I'm down to three, so now I'm down to two. Two hits. Strength eight, that is two wounds. No AP. <laughs> yes! Yes! No more destroyers for you! Uh, I, I was, yeah, I was quite scared there because I was like, I, I don't have, I was running out of models, but you know what? As long as he doesn't get any destroyers back there, I should be okay. So yeah, Nathan's going to have a few attacks back here. Um, and I won't have any morale to make, but... 
uh, he, he's not either. But I did get Master of the Warp because I got the D6 uh, and Hammer of the Emperor. Score victory point if I kill a unit that was controlling an objective marker. So I will get them to death from afar. Well, Nathan's got nothing in his deployment zone, so I will be discarding that one anyway. Puts me at eight points to Nathan's five after he's potentially done some damage to Strachan. Right, it's turn three for the Necrons. Nathan's still got Dust and Ashes. He's still, or, or rather, he's Drew Endless Legions, and he made two reanimation protocols with the three uh, Necron Warriors that were over here. He's also Drew Big Game Hunter. Uh, but, yes, he did manage to get two of these guys back. He's retreated out of combat so that the Ghost Staff can basically rapid fire into them. You may notice as well that I lost two wounds on Strachan, and I took a wound on the Priest. Unbelievably, the Priest has a four up invulnerable, and Strachan has a five up. Bye, bye, Ian. Um, and the destroyers over there, Nathan didn't get any back. But his warlord is probably going for this Lehman Russ and then probably shoot into it as well. Yes. Yep. So, do you want to start over here? Yes. So, one of the gauze flares, arrays, is going to shoot into Strachan, the other one into the priest. So, which one's this? Because obviously, Strachan's toughness four, whereas the priest's toughness yeah. three. Uh, I'll do Strachan first. Okie doke. <laughs> No re-rolls. Nope. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. So it's a five. Minus one. It takes one wound. Yep, so threes again. Five, four plus again. Two go through, he's on one wound left. Nice. Now, destroyers. Yep. So my will be done on them, so it means you're hitting on twos. I'm guessing you're going after that rust there with the Punisher. Okay. Reroll the ones. A couple of twos in there, so. Yeah, but not extermination. So it's just the reroll the ones for the. Yeah. Yeah, all hit. And then needing fives. Yeah, this is where extermination will be handled on the reroll ones. Three. Minus three. Six ups. I pass one, I fail two. Reroll that. Oh, two damage. So that's down to ten wounds remaining. And then hasn't your lord got a weapon? He does. He also has a less long doors as well. Hitting on threes. Can't reroll the ones because no. moved. Yeah. Wow. That was a very quick turn. Yeah. I genuinely thought that last turn right I was I was like in a bad way. But I think not getting the destroyers back and me just managing to kill that destroyer has turned the game around. But the important question is Nathan, are you charging? Yes I am. Okay, that's three D six auto hits and then twenty shots from your punisher. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've just rolled um, 15. 6, 9, 10. I'm running out of dice. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, what toughness is the barge? 6. So, I need 5. 2, 4. Six wounds at minus one. These are all the hits, yeah? Yes, because so flamers. Just one wound. Minus one. Three. Three wounds. Okay. And can I have five more dice, please? This is now my Punisher, Gatling Cannon. Rawr. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. I will spend a command point and employ one of my other stratagems, which is uh, defensive gunners, which allows me to overwatch on fives. <laughs> so I didn't roll many, but the fives paying off there. Uh, oh, there's a six. Fives, one wound. So I'm down two CP. Cool. Are you also charging the Sentinel? If you do, it's another heavy flamer. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. So charge distance, Nathan. Yeah. It's alright, you can re-roll up. So three attacks with the war scythe. Twos. Wow. So fives. That goes through, is it minus four? No save. What's the damage? Two? Two, so drops me to eight. Oh look, guess what? I get to swing back. Six errors. I get one hit. I do wound. <laughs> this Lehman Russ is a boss, he's getting a promotion. He's gonna be the tank commander from now on. Um, and that is it, I believe. So you score nothing. Ouch! And I don't lose anything, so I'm gonna get rid of because you'd knock, you, yeah, because you, you, you've only got two that you can roll there and one there, so. I now draw Defend Objective 6 down here. Secure 1 and Chain of Command. Score 1 victory point if you issue 3 to 5 different orders or tank orders this turn. Well, I'm getting that one. Secure 1. Where is number 1? Oh. I can get it. I can get it. Yes. Which you're not allowed to score, Nathan. No, I'm not. <laughs> so it, it will cost me a command point to get it, but I can get it. So let's have a look at the movement phase. Right, so I've got defend six, secure one, and chain of command. Issue uh, five or three to five orders. So I've managed to issue uh, forwards for the Emperor on these guys because they advanced. I didn't get far enough roll, unfortunately, to get right over onto defend six. Take aim on Strachan and the Priest. Uh, and then Gunner's kill on sight on him. Uh, my Sentinel moved nine and advanced six for 15. And then I've used Go Recon for one command point leaving me on one to move an additional 2d6 inches and get over on to secure objective one i like scout sentinels <clears throat> yes so i do have one left but uh he's retreated out of combat unsurprisingly so the ghost arc is the problem but the destroyers are a problem so i don't know whether to go for the destroyers or the ghost arc i feel like i've kind of got to go for the destroyers but first of all we're going to go for him. So, I am going to overcharge the eradication. <clears throat> so, I get 2d3, one from each of the sides, and then d6. But I'll get 2d6 because I'll we'll have to do them separately. So, the d3s, uh, reroll for Kachan. <laughs> and then I get d6 from the big gun for four, which I'll keep. And I'll put them all together, Nathan, because they're the same stat line. Uh, I am overcharging, but I am re-rolling ones. <clears throat> oh, thank God I'm re-rolling ones. So, two miss. I'm strength eight. Your toughness six. Threes. <clears throat> That's uh, five. At minus three, you've got four in run, yep. <clears throat> yep. Two go through, and it's two damage. So roll ones for your quantum shield. Yes. One for quantum shield. So they both go through for two damage each. Four drops them to one wound. Reduce the damage by one. Oh. Oh. So really there was no point in actually overcharging. At all. <laughs> oh well. Um, so now I get to shoot the last cannon. Which hits. And wounds. So four plus in on the last cannon. Just one. 
yeah. mix it and then the big gun on top will fire again for three shots I'll re-roll it for three so there's no point in me overcharging I re-roll the ones uh, and then I need threes to wound you that's three at minus three so three yep and it's one damage yeah, so you yeah, can't yeah cool so leaves him down on two wounds it's not enough it's not enough <clears throat> last cannon laser cannon yeah no i'm gonna do the earth shake because it's d3 damage whereas that's d6 so i've got a better chance of taking out the so I'll do the Earth Shaker Cannon. Uh, Reroll the one for four shots. Oh, that doesn't count. Thank you. Uh, two hits. Strength nine. That is one wound. Minus two. Yeah. D3. For, five, for three, so you reduce it to two. Uh, Which order does it happen? It's bottom shield and then damage. Right, so you need to roll a one or a two. Oh. And then he's heavy bolter as well. For one hit, doesn't wound. Okay, this isn't going well. Battle cannon. I'll re roll. Five. Oh. Two hits, threes to wound, two wounds, minus two, d3, one, which you can't ignore, and then the battle cannon again, I'll re-roll it, for three, come on, two hits, one wound, Oh. Two damage. Don't roll a one. Don't do it. No! Oh my word! <coughs> Is he your wallow, by the way? All oh, right. <laughs> so, okay, so it makes sense. I am going for him. So the last cannons, laser cannons, and then I'll shoot again, Eric. Two hits. Two wounds. Four plus in one. And it is, oh, five. I needed a low number. No. Oh! oh. <laughs> Quantum shield and failing them, reducing the damage to four, and then doing that. And that was my last shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Because you can do the thing where you bring them back up on a four yes. plus, can't you? Yes. So, um, he'll lob uh, a last pistol into the Necrons. Uh, he misses, and then he's going to do his um, overcharged plasma pistol at the ghost arc. Just cause... No, no, I'm going to go for the warriors. Hits. It wounds, it's minus three, you can't do a thing about it. So now Strachan's going to charge them. So, eight, so 16 shots. One. Can't kill me. Doesn't wound. Charge distance. Even with a double one, that's less than that's two inches, so I would still get in there. And then the priest. Oh, look, he's in as well. Okay, so Strachan is going first. Come on, do better this time. One miss. Threes. Four, minus one. Die. Yep, and then the priest with his chain sword. Reroll failed hits because of Zealot, which I didn't do last time. So one miss. Uh, strength four because of Katachan. And that is two more no AP. Two more die. Wow. Two from each side in an attempt to kill them. <laughs> 
So what, you're doing two attacks on each one? Yeah. So, uh, strapping. Yeah. One hit. Wound. Passes his armor. Two hits. One wound. He fails. Do I use my CP now though? Because I've got one left. It's an extra attack on Stratton, but then you're just going to retreat and shoot me again, so I don't think it's worth it, because you'll just kill him. So it's not worth the CP. So, I did issue three orders, and I got Slay the Warlord and Secure Objective. One, uh... Yeah, it's just one victory point for that. So I scored three more points, put me at 11. So turn four, Nathan's still got dust and ashes, defend three, and big game hunter. Nathan, yes. your cards. The, I know, I know. Like, did, did, did you shuffle them into the worst order possible? I tried to cheat, <laughs> honest. <laughs> yeah, I think you did them back to front, that's, that's what's ah, happened. Right, right, so yes, all the good ones uh, at the bottom. Um, so you didn't roll any reanimations for them. Two turns now. Two turns in a row and you haven't gotten any back. Uh, you've got two warriors back down here, Yes. Uh, and you didn't fail the morale, uh, one would have ran on a six, but Nathan's got a bit of a plan, obviously he's going to try and get them up with the ghost star, but all he has to do is kill that company commander, and he stops me scoring another two points for defend six. Big game hunter, well he's probably going for that Lehman Russ, because it's only on eight, I say it's only on eight wounds, it's not twelve wounds, so that's a start, and, and you're ignoring the sentinel up there? For now. Okay. Right. Do you want to start with, uh, do you want to go with these? Yes. Are you putting everything into the commander? Uh, are, you go are you going to go one into the commander, one into Strachan? Ooh. How many wounds has the commander got? Uh, I don't know. Four. Five, Four, and he's got a five up save. Four to five up. He is toughness three. Yeah, we're doing ten shots and four wounds. I'm probably going to need to put both of them in. Okay. Yeah. So what's our total of 20 shots all together? Can I survive? So, first 10. So five hits. Nine. 14. So 10, 12, 13. Fishing for threes. Minus one. Well, I've got a five up in run anyway, so. Three, six, nine. Well, he's seven. Yeah, I'm dead. But I needed them. Yep. I needed both. I needed both. Uh, so then, over this side, is the destroyers. And I'm guessing they're going for the, uh... Yes, the Punisher. <laughs> that has been a bit of a bane to me, this, uh, this game. No, 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 Bane is DC. Punisher is Marvel. Oh, <laughs> Speaking of the Punisher, have you watched Series 2 yet? No, I haven't. I haven't either. I need to watch it. So re-rolling the ones. Are hardwired yes. and then needing fives to wound. Three. Do you know what I've just realized as well? I don't know if you can do it or not because um, when you retreat, can you still pop your smoke launchers? Because you pop smoke launchers instead of firing. I'll have to look at the FAQ for that. So, three sixes all go through. Come on, Nathan, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it! Rob Schneider! Oh, he's one wound off! <laughs> six, no, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you know what, though? You've still got a Staff of Light. I do, I do, I do, I do. I believe it's three, 12 inches, three shots, strength five, minus one. Is it strength five? Three hits. Three hits. Fives. Just needs one. No! Ah, oh, so close, Nathan. 
because that is going to hurt now because you're going to get hit with flamers. Yes. Is that turn? That is the turn, yeah. Um, yeah. So you don't get big game hunter and you don't defend three because three is right in the middle there, which you weren't going to chance. Uh, in, you stop me from scoring another two points, yep. And for my turn four, I draw defend objective two. Strachan! Uh, defend objective one. Well, I guess the Sentinel is staying up there. And secure objective three. So moving phase, these have moved over here to try and take out the six warriors that are left. Strachan is over there. He advanced. I contemplated charging in. I might as well have a punt and try and score it because if I get very lucky and take out the ghost arc, for example, then there's only your lord over there. Yeah. Uh, over here, this one's staying still because it's going to pour everything into him and the tank commanders move forward onto objective three and these have stayed still as well. There's not really anywhere I can go. The only order I can do is uh, something on him, so I will go for reroll ones on himself again. So, down here, I was going to use my last command point for the stratagem grenade ears, but I'm not within six inches because then everybody would get to throw a frag grenade rather than just, yes. Yes, but unfortunately I can't get within six inches. What I could have done is if I still had my officer Nathan, yes, they could have ran and still shot. Yeah. So, over there, we've got one flamer. This is at the Warriors, by the way. So three hits, I'll take that. And that is two wounds on the Warriors with no AP. Nice, nice. So then we've got eight guys, which can rapid fire. There we go, and then one Laz pistol. That's not bad. Wow, three misses. But guess what? Laz guns are crap. Yes. <laughs> Two. One. Hmm. See, I needed more than this, really, because I don't want them to just get back up. They need to die. <sighs> right, let's see how we're going over this side first. So three heavy flamers. I will reroll the one. Two or two. Uh, four and four. So four is to wound on your destroyers. Four at minus one. Wow. I didn't expect that. So this is 17. Three more from the Punisher. Sixes. I know. So three more. Nope. Fours. Uh, two wounds, no AP. Another wound. And then I'm going to shoot again at them. Three sixes so far, and then three more. Fours. Two. Fine. Okay, so I'm going to shoot the two side plasma cannons and the last cannon and the main gun at them. Um, I will overcharge. So I get 2d3 shots from the side ones, which is five. And then I get d6 from the one on the top. I'll reroll. Come on. Five. It is five, isn't it, for the eradicator? Yeah, it's D6. Cool. And the last cannon's going here as well, obviously. Uh, and I am overcharging. So I'm hitting you on... Oh, wait, I moved. I should have done these separately. Fives. Five of them are hitting on fours. Uh, Reroll the ones. But I'm at minus one, so the two causes me to take a mortal wound. 
threes. So that's three at minus three. And two damage each. Yeah, one's left on one wound. And then the five. Reroll the ones. So they all hit. <laughs> and that is three wounds. Minus three. Yeah, he's dead. And then the last cannon will be wasted. Um, now I get to fire the plasma cannon again. Well, guess what? So two, I will re-roll that for Katachan for five. Now I am overcharging. Reroll the one. Ah, take another mortal wound. Uh, he toughness four. That be four wounds at minus three. I think that's no save, Nathan. Uh, that's eight wounds. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> these are going back at them. <laughs> so uh, the battle cannon, I'll just do it twice. Uh, so three and four. This is going at the Doomsday Arc. So four hits. Uh, what's the toughness of the ghost arc? Six. Uh, so that's four, and it's minus two. So I think you've only got a four save on there, haven't you? It, it's it's pretty crap. That should have a three up, without question. It should. Uh, so four minus two. D three each. So you've got two at three, one at two, and one that you have to take because it's one. Right. So one at two. So the two damage. Needs a one, he doesn't do it, so that's three damage. And then these are three each. And one goes through, so that's six damage in total. And that was both lots of it, twice. Next up, uh, I'm going to shoot the last cannons twice. How many wounds have I got? Eight. Yeah, I'll, I'll do them both together. Uh, so I get one hit. And it wounds, it's minus three, so you've got no save, damage. Five. Roll another six. No. Yeah, you ignore it, as I expected. Uh, Earthshaker cannon. Uh, I re-roll the three, so I get six. I don't even know why I needed to re-roll the three, because I already rolled a six. So, two hits, and that is one wound at minus three, I believe it was. That is one damage. In fact, yeah, I'm going to keep my last CP. Uh, and that is turn. Oh, I'm going to call that turn. So uh, I secure three, and I've started to defend one, and I've started to defend two. So that puts me on 14 points. So Nathan's amazing look with the cards continues. Domination. Well done. <laughs> so, one more you got back up. At least I'm consistent. Yes. You are still where you are though, because you're going to try and use the ghost art to rapid fire into them guys. Yeah, I just need to do my second reanimation for the ghost art. For the end of the moving phase. You get two more back up. Two more. That's not bad. And what he's going to do is he's hopefully going to uh, use the ghost art to kill most of the infantry. Or if he doesn't kill them all, at least then he can split fire the warriors because it's model by model as well, Nathan, depending on who's closer. So, are we putting 20 shots into these? I, I am going to do something that you're not going to like. I am going to use my last command point on take cover. Just because... It's what you would do. It's what they would do, and as long as I leave the front one alive during the shooting phase, yes, I'll lose him to morale, yeah. but can't shoot him. Fair enough. Right, so, and he's having both from doing one and one. You are, yes. So the first ten from the back fire away. So one miss, that's nine. 
And then the next 10. Oh! No, there was a three there. There's a three. So you lost, you missed five altogether, so you got 15. So wounded me on threes, but I will still have me five up save. Uh, ten. It's a ten man squad on fifteen days. Yeah. <gasps> One, two. So that's thirteen. Thirteen minus one. Plus one, so he's six. So one, two, three die. Four. Five, six, seven. Let me roll that. Eight. Two left. And you know what? I'm going to leave the sergeant just, just in case I roll out a one plus seven. I lost eight. Now they would both run anyway, so it's pointless leaving the sergeant. But I tell you, well, you can because it's model by model, so a couple of models at this side might still be able to hit them. But it just means that the entire squad's not. Right, so because the rule is model by model, these two are closer to him, but the other five have to shoot at them. So five in the two guardsmen? Yeah. Three, three, really, not a single one. And threes again. Minus. So five minus one. Plus one. Yeah, they're dead. And now the four shots into strap. Yep. Oh no. Fours this time because he's talking. Four. Okay. Two. Minus one. Four plus. Oh, he goes down. Some, some redemption for the end. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's turn. <laughs> so Nathan also got a wound back there. Um, did you score anything? No. Are you discarding domination by any chance? I think I'll get rid of domination, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So at the end of that turn, I scored defend three, but I don't get defend two, so that puts me on, I think that's two more points. Turn five for me. No prisoners, I can't score because it's number five. Defend one as well. Uh, so is it your, your last turn in the man turn? That's no, I had defend three and defend two. I've stopped defending the defending. Defend one was the turn before. Yeah, so, so you've got it. Yeah, yeah last turn. Oh, right. So, <laughs> yeah, you had secure one and then you got defend one. No, I had defend three and defend two. So I've got defend two still, which I have to keep. I will be getting rid of. Uh, secure five. Which one's five? That one there. And then I've got defend three. So I have to kind of stay there. Um, hmm? It has. But uh, I can, I'm going to try and get my Russ up to there. Okay, so movement. I've advanced him. I did roll a six for it, amazingly. Uh, which I was pretty happy with. And then both of these are pulled back onto here. The reason I haven't just left the Lehman Russ is because Nathan could get a lucky shot if I don't kill the Warriors or the Ghost Ark. He's run three inches uh, to get me within 18 of that. So I will smite you down on an eight. D3 mortal wounds for three. And because of the individual wounds, you can't stop them, Nathan. Drops it to a five. So um, he'll pop smoke because just minus one to hit. You can't do anything else anyway. So I mean, I can make a move again, but I need to stay there where I am. Uh, right, so. Hmm. Yeah, twin last cannon's going to shoot at that first. One hit. In it wounds. It's minus three, Nathan. D6 damage. A five. Oh! <laughs> Is that it? That's it. That's it. Does, does it explode, though? Yes, it does. <laughs> D3 on the Warriors. Insult to injury. One. 
Uh, the battle cannon can actually see them, so I'll shoot with the battle cannon. I'll do it twice just because. I will reroll both because uh, one one for each time. Wow, and I get less. Fours. One hit. Uh, one at minus two. Nope, so that's one more dead. And then the Earthshaker gets. I'll reroll the four. Hope I get a six. Nope, so I get five shots. Uh, fives because I moved. One hit. Uh, and that is one wound on them, minus three, so I'll kill one more. <clears throat> and that is everything that I can do. So, I secure objective five. I can't defend two, and I've started to defend three. Nathan? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Let's count up the scores. And with that, the score is 5 to 15, Nathan. Ouch. Yep. You had a couple of very good turns at the beginning. Uh, yes, yes. But uh, your cards let you down. Dramatically. They, I just didn't... I mean, losing, losing the twos, which is all the secure oh, wait, cards. Your score uh, from dust I and do. ashes. I have six points. There you go. <laughs> There so yeah. It, yeah, so so losing those losing all the the, the two one, two two, two three, so all the secure cards were the easy wiped ones. Out. Yeah. 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 I think for you losing your night scythe yes. on turn one meant meant you lost the twenty warriors. Yes. I mean that one turn I focused on the twenty warriors, it took everything I had. It did. If you'd had a second unit of twenty, I couldn't have dealt with it. No. Uh, the destroyers. I think you you drawing that scour the skies as well help on that yeah, turn as well. Definitely, definitely. Um, your destroyers, you just got really unlucky with them. I mean, that yeah. Russ should have been dead. Yes. Uh, I got very, very lucky when I charged the Russ in and did that last wound. Yes, you did. I mean, failing, what, two, four plus? Because I had the quick deck there as well for two turns and not yep. the single one back as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Massively. I mean, this was fun over here. The, the, <laughs> the gold start with the, with the 10 warriors. That's always just a fun little unit to have. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I, I think that again the, the turn when I spent my entire army shooting at your warlord. Yeah, yeah that that last last cannon shot where you know a, a five versus quantum shielding, <laughs> it, it should bounce off. Yeah, you know, but that six was just uh, of course it was a six. Yeah, yeah, and unfortunately I had no command points left to reroll it at that point, which no, would have desperately helped you. Yes, <laughs> and realizing now I could have actually saved two CP because that warlord actually did have a res orb, yep. so I didn't need to spend two CP on the enhanced reanimations. Yeah. Um, but you learn. And do you know what? Fourth time I've used the army. Mm -hmm. First ever victory. Oh well, there you go then. So I, I'm, I'm over the moon with yes. that. Yes. I, I'm then, liking the Lehman Russ yes. a lot more. And what probably should have been a more like static tank gun line, actually because having the cards, you know, it was more fun to have you moving about. And with the amount of heavy flamers I've got, and yes. of course I can still move and, and fire the, the turret if I'm yeah. under half and, distance and, and, is, is and, really great. And heavy flamers aren't affected by wound loss. No, they're not. No. Which is great. And then obviously re-rolling the number of shots for Katachan. Oh, how, <laughs> how many free CPs did you get this game, man? A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> A lot, but yeah, I, I really like them, and I'm really looking forward to the Gene Steel Code Codex, which will probably be out by the time this, because rumours are it's next week. Hopefully, yes. Hopefully. So, uh, rematch with as plain these as Brew Brothers. Yes, definitely. And and this time, I, well, Nathan wanted a 2,000 point game, but because the chapter approved, I was like, Nathan, I haven't got 2,000 points. So next time it will be 2,000. Oh, there we go then. So the monolith. Yes. Yeah.